Hello, my ninjas, and welcome to another Contrast 101. Today, we're going to be painting this Thousand Suns Rubric Marine. We're going to be painting as a member of the Prodigal Suns, or a possibly the Tizcan host. Their color schemes are almost completely identical. We've started by spraying this fella with Lead Belcher, or with, no, with Retributor Armor. Lead Belcher Silver. What am I talking about? And now we're going to brush the entire fella with... Um, Drakenhof Nightshade, and uh, a lot of people would uh, use um, Agrax Earthshade instead of Drakenhof Nightshade, uh, but I'm using the Drakenhof Nightshade because it's going to blue out the whole thing, um, and I kind of wanted that shark, stark contrast with the, that the Drakenhof would provide as opposed to what the uh, Agrax would do. The Agrax would, would really bring the gold out and make the gold gold, and this is going to make the gold kind of bluish, and I kind of I wanted to see what it would do. Honestly, this is an experiment, uh, and I was having fun with it. So we're, we're making sure that it pools nicely where we want it to pool. The shades will definitely pool, so I'm brushing off some of the excess, rubbing it onto the paper there. And what this does, what this step, if you use the Drakenhof, if you use Agrax, if you use Nulln Oil, what this step is doing is letting me see all the little lines and details before I start trying to stick my brush in there. Uh, you can see already how it brings that out. So now we're going to let that dry through the magic of editing that has had a chance to dry. Now we're going to take our Talisar Blue and we're going to take a, a brush with a good tip and a good reservoir and we're going to start painting that Talisar Blue and those dark blue lines that that Drakenhof added allow us to see where we're going. Now I do want to say one thing I wish I had done. Right? I don't want you to immediately after you've applied the Drakenhof, I don't want you to let it dry and then go to the Talisar Blue. I want you to go get uh, your Retributor Gold, uh, or if you're using um, Reaper Miniatures colors or Secret Weapon colors, I want you to get uh, uh, a Bright Gold, Dragon Gold maybe, or Brass Casings from Secret Weapon Miniatures, and I want you to dry brush that on before you do the Talisar Blue. Me, I end up dry brushing it, or I end up painting it on, not dry brushing it on. I want you to dry brush it on before you do this step. Uh, I wish I had, because at this point the the gray, the gold does still look a little blue, and that blue actually kind of makes it look just a teeny tiny bit green, and it would be have been nice to have dry brushed uh, that gold to be a much brighter, brassy, bright gold color before I got to this step. But this step is basically me taking my fine detail brush, and something with a good enough reservoir to get in there and really paint those details. Really paint that blue into the pockets and let the gold shine through. And you're going to see all this gold filigree. This is the most time consuming step of the process. I think it takes, uh, see in the actual video, there's almost 10 minutes of this and it's sped up to time and a half. So it's about 15 minutes it took me. Um, I actually think think it was closer to 18 minutes in real time that it took me to do this part, this step. So uh, it's not fast, which is kind of antithetical to the entire Contrast 101. Get your models painted quickly, but I don't think anybody who got Thousand Suns thought they were going to get them painted super quickly. So really here, uh, we're just looking for uh, where it's pooling. We're trying to make sure that it doesn't go places it doesn't want to. And we are trying to make sure that it pools intelligently. And we are applying it sort of thick, but not super thick. And one of the things it's going to do is it's going to let that gold shine through underneath and give us a nice little candy candy armor coating, uh, which is more, much more visible with red than with Talisar. But it looks so good. It looks so good. It's one of the reasons why... Um, why we'd spray the whole thing gold instead of just applying the gold to the trim is because we want that gold under the, the blue to really add some reflectivity to that blue that isn't otherwise there.
All right, and that blue has had a chance to dry. Now we're going to come in with our brass casings from Secret Weapon Miniatures. This is one of the shiniest, best brasses on the market if you're not using an alcohol ink. And you can see I have a very, very tiny brush. Very fine point. And I'm just going in, picking out, and trying to make the edges of things a little brighter. And this is why I said at the very beginning of the video, you should dry brush this brass casings over the miniature after having Drakenhoft it. Because the, you can see the gold is a little muted compared to what I'm putting what I'm putting on right now. You can see it's much more vivid than the gold that has had the Drakenhoff on top of it. So you really should reverse this two, these two steps. Do the brass casings first. Learn from my mistake. Learn from what I do here on this channel. Um, do the brass casings first and then do your talisar and you're going to be much happier with the effect i promise you i promise but in this case we're going to go ahead and we're just going to paint this brass casings on dry brushing it over the backpack dry brushing it where we can making sure we get it onto all the little details and really just bringing out and enhancing the shine And for this last little bit, we're going to take our end in yellow and we're going to do the stripes on the headgear and we're going to do the cloth work hanging down. Oh, now, it's possible I should have gone over this with white first um, because I do end up needing to do a second coat of end in yellow to keep it from just looking like gold. But the yellow up here does show nicely and is distinct color from the gold uh, with two coats uh, in each stripe on the helmet, uh, front and back it does look like yellow and it doesn't look like gold. So you do have the blue and yellow alternating stripes and you do have that nice clean delineation of the night Dragonhoff nightshade in between them. Uh, and it really does work well. We're also going to take the yellow and we're going to take some uh, Blood Angels Red and we're going to paint that icon of flame. And then I'm going to dry brush that icon of flame with a little bit more brass casings. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, that's uh, a lot of a lot of painting inside a uh, uh, all the gold filigree. If you've enjoyed this, uh, leave a like and I'll do more Thousand Suns. I found 14 different Thousand Suns color schemes in the codex that I can do. A lot of them are fairly similar to this. They A lot of blue and gold with just some, some changes to which blue I use or which uh, gold I use in some cases. Um, but if you do like this and you want to see more Thousand Suns, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you do want to see videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's how often I'm posting them. Um, and check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash 7ninjas. These boxes of models uh, aren't particularly cheap, and the paint, the especially the, the GW spray cans, are not particularly cheap. So subscribing to my Patreon does help keep me in paint minis and brushes, uh, does support this channel. So I want to thank you so much, my ninjas, for joining me and for letting 7 Ninja Studios help you take your prodigal sons from gray to great.